What you guys got another video here for you. This one is the Raspberry Pi 3. I've named it Amazing Tiny Gaming Computer because that's exactly what it is. It's a little small tiny computer which will play all your retro games. I want to thank Banggood for sending the Raspberry Pi 3 over for review. This one comes with wireless LAN and Bluetooth 4.1 and loads of other features which we'll be covering in this video. So we're going to be setting it up completely. I'll show you how to image your operating system onto a micro SD card and get it all up and running. We're going to put it together and uh, so let me know in the comment section below whether you want to see the retro pie version and I'll do that as well. But as you can see here, this is what I've bought as well. I've bought some other bits and pieces to go with the Raspberry Pi 3, which is obviously what you're going to need. You're going to need your memory card and this is the micro SD card. Try and get a fast one guys because that's going to give you some uh, fast speeds there okay so you can see this 4k compatible which will give me super fast speeds and uh, again this is useful if you're using a desktop this is a card reader it's going to allow you to plug in your little micro sd card in there and it's got a usb port on the end of it and you just plug it in and uh, uh, then you can uh, image your uh, operating system to that now obviously you're going to need a power uh, for your little uh, raspberry pi and this is the raspberry pi power adapter and this is to power the device itself and they're pretty affordable and again I bought this just in case I need it as a backup I don't think I will need it but I bought it just in case and again I've bought the housing which is the Gorilla Pie uh, which comes with its own cooling fan and I'll show you how to set all that up and uh, how you can use it it's pretty straightforward and set up as well so let's get the pie out of the box and as you can see here it comes with two leaflets and the pie itself the leaflet first one is the safety guide that's probably because the Pi does run really hot and uh, you want to be very careful. And again, you've got your setup guide here, which is your quick setup guide. There is loads of YouTube videos out there that show you how to use Raspberry Pi. And of course, I'll be showing you in this video as well how to set yours up. Now again, this is the actual Raspberry Pi. It comes in this little brown bag, which is like an old shopping bag. And again, you've got the Raspberry Pi icon on the front and you just pull the little tape round at the top and of course that will open up the bag and pull out your little mini computer now don't be fooled by the size of this computer it's a powerful little unit and it fits in the palm of my hand and uh, again you can do just about anything you can uh, set up a Kodi box here you can set up a multimedia streaming box uh, ship file sharing you name it retro gaming box there's loads of things you can do with these pies so at the top here you're going to have your 40 pin extended GPIO also you're going to have your little camera CSI camera ports and also your CSI uh, display port here you can have your CPU and GPU uh, on here as well now also on this side here you're going to have your micro USB and then right next to that you're going to have your HDMI port which is going to be your video output and also you're going to have your 3.5 mil audio jack on here as well and around this side you're going to have your LAN which is for your LAN and also you're going to have four USB ports as well on here. And remember guys this is also Bluetooth and wireless as well which allows you to do all your Wi-Fi. Now on the back of it or the bottom of it you can see there's a micro SD card slot and again you can get the, the larger size card if you want. What I advise you to do is get a bunch of cards and uh, image them with what you want i.e. retro gaming and an operating system and you can in, uh, swap them out whenever you want to use one rather than keep formatting and because uh, once you get one set up it's nice to keep it safe so let's take a look at the actual uh, Gorilla Pie box here you can see it comes with everything you're going to need and I purchased this on Amazon pretty affordable and uh, it comes with everything you're going to need all your screws fixtures and fittings and also a little tiny fan in there so it saves you having to purchase uh, some heat sinks and stuff Again, if you want to go down the passive cooling, you can do. This little fan will just blow some cold air over the actual CPU and keep it cool. So again, it's pretty straightforward. It comes with four bolts, four nuts, and there's some uh, four screws there with some little uh, rubber feet for the bottom of the device. So everything you're going to need to set up your little mini PC. And of course, this is going to keep it safe so you don't get uh, damage it or you don't uh, put, put your hands on it because it does run a bit hot and uh, it should be fine once it's inside that little housing and I've used quite a few Raspberry Pis over the years so I've now mounted my little fan here with uh, the bolts I'm not going to show that part it's pretty self-explanatory you can either have, either have the fan running inwards or outwards 
I've got it blowing onto the CPU. Now I'm just going to screw in these four screws into the actual board itself and onto the bottom of the uh, housing and that will just hold the Raspberry Pi in place. Now don't go over tightening these guys as you will break uh, the board or break the plastic housing okay so just you only need to hold them into place it's not going to go anywhere and now we need to uh, plug in our little cable into one of the jumpers there so we get some uh, I've just got a bit of uh, sticky tape there to hold the cable up so it doesn't touch the GPU or the CPU so it doesn't overheat and you could do a better job than what I'm doing. I'm just uh, doing this in front of the camera to show you. I'm just going to plug that in. And uh, once we've done that, we can now close off our little enclosure. Now, the good thing about this enclosure, it gives you access to all your jumpers there on the side. And also at the micro SD card slot, everything's easy, accessible. And it has pretty good, adequate cooling on here as well. So we're pretty much ready to go now. All we need to do now, you can see the fan there. Once I plug, plug some power into this and we've got our image on there, we'll be able to boot this up. And I'll show you how to do all that in a second. So I'm just going to stick these rubber feet on the bottom. Just the, There's four of them on there. I've just stuck the other ones on as well. And that's it. I think it looks pretty nice in this little blue uh, Gorilla Pie, Pie case. I like it a lot. Now what we're going to do is get our micro SD card slot here and plug it into our little device here and then we can plug this into our computer into a USB port and then we can image our either RetroPie or image our operating system what we want to use onto it so it makes it nice and easy. Now if you're using a laptop most laptops come with these little micro card readers here which you won't need one of these but obviously I'm using a desktop here and this is what I'm going to be using to put my image on. And you can buy these pretty affordable here. So here we have the keyboard and mouse. Uh, this is what I'm using uh, to set uh, mine up as well. When I get it up and running, that's what I'll be using this keyboard uh, from Logitech. And also I've got my capture card here to capture the screen. And I've also got my uh, Raspberry Pi here. So I'll show you how to put the image on there first. But that's what I'm going to be using to capture the screen once we're up and running. So I'll do that now. I'll just quickly show you how to create your image so you're ready to go. Okay, so let's uh, get onto our operating system here. I'm just going to open this up and show you. I've got the uh, USB stick plugged in with the micro SD card into that plugged in. You're going to need a few things here. You're going to also need an image. So we're going to be using Raspberry and Jesse in this one. I've decided to do this version. Uh, for this video if you want to see other ones let me know in the comments section below but you can get this all free download it's 1.5 gigabytes to download uh, Raspberry uh, Jesse uh, as you can see here but when you unzip it, it's about four gigabytes in size you can either use the zip version or the torrented version depending on what you want to do and we're also going to be using win32 disk imager to image our uh, image image our image onto that uh, micro SD card and also we've got SD card formatter. Now if you've got an old second hand SD card you will need to format it and you can use something like SD card formatter to do that for you but I'm using a brand new card so I don't need to do that. So now let's get a W32 a disk imager into our operating system so we can then use it to get our image across and this is pretty straightforward stuff guys. So we're just going to install this and now we can run run this program now this is a free program you can download all this stuff is free apart from the parts that you have to purchase so we'll just fire this up and I'll get our image on there and there we are it's a pretty basic straightforward uh, program all you need to do now is locate your image make sure the device is exactly the right device that you want to put your image on otherwise it will wipe that drive and again I've plugged in and it says E drive and I've got my Raspberry and Jesse image there and all we need to do now is hit the right button and this will write that image to that micro SD card it's going to warn you and say that this is going to be formatted so if there is data on there it will be wiped and the good thing with that card reader it's a 
USB 3.1 or 3.0 as well, which gives you that extra speed. So it doesn't take too long. So now we're ready to boot up and let's boot our device up. I've captured the screen for you as you can see here. And this is exactly what you're going to get once you get yours up and running. Now this is not the RetroPie version. If you want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but this is more the operating system side of things. Uh, but if you want to see the retro one with loads of games on it, I will do that video for you, no problem. But you can see here you've got Office here, you've got the internet, you can browse the internet here uh, as well. You can do whatever you like with this particular type of uh, computer. It's uh, pretty capable of doing stuff. Also, it's got games. As you can see here, you've got your uh, Minecraft uh, Pi Edition. This comes pre-installed here. If you want to play that, you can do. And again, I've got some other bits and pieces on here, which I'll quickly just show you. Accessories here, it's got your accessories that you need. Of course, you can install more if you want to. It's pretty straightforward to do. So what you want to do is you want to up, upgrade or update your Pi as soon as you've got it up and running. And you can do that in the terminal. And that's pretty much it. You can see Bluetooth up the top here and all your sound and stuff. And that's pretty much it for this video. So again, thanks for Banggood for sending the Raspberry Pi over for a review. If you want to see more videos on this, let me know in the comment section and I'll leave all the information and links in the video description for you. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.